see, folks, that is what luxury is all about. Not only do you get a beautiful fireplace, but it's also functional. It's a nice space heater. See, this is the 2022 Heartland Bighorn 3950FL. And I'm a big fan of front living, um, especially the some of the more modern ones, like what they did with the Bighorn. The great thing about front living is you get that kind of living room feel that you oftentimes have at home that a lot of times you just miss in the RV. But with this, you have the dual opposing sofas here. You have the nice big TV. And a lot of times you don't get a lot of storage in them, but you'll see with this one, you have a ton of storage both inside and out. Uh, very similar to a, a drink I enjoy. I also like the black and tan that they have right in here. I think they did a great job with that color combo. As I said, plenty of storage. You can see the entertainment center there. The TV does drop down if you so choose, and there is a windshield behind it. So that way, uh, you know, lets in a lot of natural light if you want that to be in here. But again, the thing I love about this is you can have some people chilling on the couch. Both of these do fold out into beds, by the way. Uh, so this one is capable of sleeping six, but you can also be right here in the theater seats. And this is really the best seat in the house because you can sit here, you can watch TV. They're super comfortable. They Hey buddy, what you, what you doing? Oh, hey guy. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, it, it, I, it, uh, I was, uh, I like the Harlem Bighorns. Yeah. And I heard somebody mention something about a black and tan. Yep. So I, <laughs> so here you are. I came running and I was like, Oh, he's talking about the interior. Yeah. 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 What do you think? Dude, let me tell you what Heartland has done. And, you know, you and I both know our buddy Andy at Heartland. Yeah. They really wanted to mix luxury, form, and function with affordability. And I think that's kind of where Heartland hit the sweet spot yeah. with the Bighorn. You get a luxury fifth wheel without that luxury price tag. Yeah. Dual ACs with a third option. And, and the and Whisper Quiet. The Whisper Quiet with the filters. Mm -hmm. And, and do you, you absolutely nailed it. Because the front living floor plan does give you the option of if this is the vacation home yep. and you got the grandkids coming or you know that the you know you want to have the ladies weekend getaway, exactly. the guys weekend getaway, whatever, you got the room to entertain but also to sleep. Well, and I love it too. And I always joke when I have a front living, right, that if you don't want to tell people these are beds because yeah, you don't you know, want yeah. to stay the night, you don't have to. <laughs> That's right. Oh, sorry, I don't have room. There's just no way. Uh, sorry, I just, you just guess you got to go back home. <laughs> oh, grandkids, the TV, yeah. No, we don't have remotes. I don't know where those possibly could be. That's right. You know, yeah. nice yeah. little hidden storage and all the uh, armrests. That's right. Yeah. But but Grandpa Chris, can, can we watch Blue's Clues? No, the Bears are losing. <laughs> Get back outside and go play. I bought this and set it up at the lake so you could go – Get in nature, not freaking Steve and his guitar. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel about it. Sorry, man. I had, <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had one of those weekends. About about that black and tan. <laughs> yes, about that black and tan. <laughs> I like that the theater seats are powered, too. Um, you yeah. know, so, something like this, I mean, more often than not, right, you're going to have shore power. Yeah. And I've seen it where a lot of times it's just the kind of difficult on some of the recliners to get the foot back in. So having the power on there makes it super easy. You also got the massage and the heat. Yes. So yes. That, that comes in handy. If you've spent a good time outside fishing, hunting, doing what a hiking, biking, come back in, cut the fireplace on. That's a nice little nap waiting to happen when you just agreed get that heat and buzz going absolutely agreed. i like how they incorporated some new things to you know in here as well i see we got yeah. we got tank heaters mm -hmm. we got the control panel here uh run out the slides run out the awnings check the tanks check the whole nine absolutely just and then, and then convenient as you, and as you come around the way just in case you want to watch your favorite cooking show while you're in here oh you got tv hook up there too they added a little mountain okay yeah right on you know uh wireless charging like that. Put it right on there. Boom. Good to go. Got some plugins, plenty of storage all the way around. And, you know, if you're taller, you can still see, like, I can see the TV, you know, yeah. just fine. But again, if you're a little bit shorter, you want a TV in here, you have the capability to do that. I think that's pretty cool. I like how they gave us the tri surface top, too. So we got three yes. areas with solid surface countertops for prep. Good little coffee station right there under the TV to go along yeah. with the charging station. Yep. Got the pantry, the huge Residential fridge. refrigerator. Yeah. Dude, that's like 18 cubic feet. That's yep. ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. One of my favorite things, too, about the island, Chris, that, that they've done that a lot didn't, is they went with a really thick edge. Yeah. Uh, I really like that look, personally. It just looks like there's, I don't know, just it's beefier, right? Like, there's just more to it. It's kind of like you. It's more rugged and elegant. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the great combination of both. But, yeah, undermounted sink, 
high-rise faucet, mm -hmm. plenty of storage space, and the insignia freestanding, yes. for, you know, residential oven and I mean, combo. That's awesome. Look at the space in that oven. You know, I, I hear so much, oh, I don't have enough room for a Thanksgiving turkey. Oh, you do now. You definitely got room there. And you got four burners up here on the cooktop. Yep. That could do salmon and the shrinky dinks. At the same time. At the same time. Man. Plus, I got the big insignia microwave. Mm hmm And, yeah, this this glaze with the black and tan. Yeah. They did a really good job of offsetting because you remember a few years ago, everything was just brown on brown. Yes. RVs were dark on the inside. Mm -hmm. They were ugly. So now we got the lighter interiors with the darker accents that really kind of bring that rustic but modern feel back into your home, which is what the manufacturers wanted to do. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And then right behind you, Chris, this is actually kind of a cool feature, at least oh. I think. Yeah, so right there, we have a half bath. Ooh. Yes. High rise porcelain bowl. Now, now here's kind of the cool thing, too. Ooh. Like, so I, I love the fact you have a half bath here, right? You know, it just makes it easy, especially if you're up in the living area, come yeah. down and use it. Um, we have other manufacturers that have a very similar floor plan. You know, a lot of, uh, throughout the country, we have Montana. Yep. Uh, and they make something very similar. But some people were a little weirded out. So something that they did that I like as well is you can have a butler pantry option if you yes. so choose. Yes. Uh, but that's what's cool about being Camping World and having so much inventory yeah. is, you know, if you want something like that, a, a slight change, chances are we have it. Yeah, we, we got them. And, and not only that, you can take it home, take it camping today. So yeah. if you're looking for something, a great resource is our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, yes. look up Camping World, give us a like, give us a subscribe. We got thousands of videos there, not only displaying RVs, but also how-to tips, product guides. Yeah. I mean, tips and tricks to make that RV and lifestyle even more beautiful and elegant like this wood inlay that we have here with the residential sconces. Yeah, yeah, they did a really good job there. Tip of um, the hat. What's that? Tip of the hat? tip of the hat. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of that farm style, which I, you know, I really enjoy. And they kind of, like I said, kind of inlaid up there. And it, yeah. it blends in really well with the lighting they have right here above the, uh, the freestanding table, too. I like how the, we, we, we kind of got that rustic appearance with the live edge going there with the table. Extra thick like your countertop. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, we got the extension where we want to make it more space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just flip that up so in case you know, want a few more people there. Or again, want a little more elbow room. Eliminated carpet completely. Love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. How dirty would that carpet get? It would get gross. Oh. Spill some food. Yep. Spill some wine. Yep, because the kids cannot keep it in their face. It always goes in the floor. The wine? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I kid, I kid, I like kid. One summer in France. I expect? kid, I kid. <laughs> um, but so, what? Something that's a little unique about this floor plan too. You saw that we go up into the living room. We also go up into the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous master bedroom and bathroom, or the wow. the master ensuite. And the and I'll show you why when we go outside. I talked about storage and. The reason this is elevated is they give you a ton of storage outside. Oh, so we get like a basement. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. But I I love what they have done with the master ensuite in here. Um, you know, you get the slide out bed, so you get the kind of full walk around capability. You USB. Chris is in there playing. What you find there, buddy? You got the little Dyson vacuum cleaner hung uh -huh. up in here. Uh huh. Nice and convenient. Nice and convenient. Rechargeable and ready for these easy to clean floors. Exactly, boom, look at that. Get it, buddy, thank you, thank oh, you. Oh yeah, look at uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at Clean it something? up after my sloppy self. <laughs> you will, you'll also see that that uh, not only has wardrobe space to hang your clothes, but also uh, you got the washer and dryer there. So if you plan on spending a lot of time in your RV, which with something like this, why wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. You can have the washer dryer. Oh, king size bed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Would you look at it? Oh, would you just? Strut supported. There's my extra chairs for yeah. the dinette. You got it. I like how we got dual USB charging on both sides too. The, yes, the, sir. The backlit headboard. Yes. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yep. And it's it's simple. It's elegant. Did a great job. And we got uh, even more countertop space with the chest of drawers. Another NFC charging plate. Little 32 inch TV as well. Second AC back here. Yep. And again, the whisper quiet in the bedroom too, so you don't have to yell at each other. Right. You know. I mean, unless you want to. And, and you know, it's funny we. we when we first got in here, the, the back was running. I didn't even hear it. Yeah, exactly. Until I came back here and was like, why is it so much colder? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, okay, the AC's going. Yes. So that's, one, that's why I was sneaking around while you were doing your thing. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sneaking around in my room, Chris. Um, and then as we come into the very back, so this right here is great, too. I love a few things about this. Uh, one of them is going to be the double vanity. This right here, when you're talking about a couple's RV, I think that is a huge, huge feature. They didn't skimp out. You still get solid surface with molded in bowls. So there's 0% chance of leaks, which I love. 
storage all the way across the top, porcelain bowl for the toilet. Then you get, you know, kind of like this spa-like shower in here with this huge skylight plus an actual LED light. So if you're showering at night, you can still see larger hand wand in here. Um, you know, fantastic vent fan. I mean, just an excellent, excellent job in the bath. The one thing I think people some, sometimes will think about with fifth wheels, yes, you do need a bigger truck to tow it. Yep. They're easier to tow, but if, if you've been wanting a vacation home, that true vacation home, something mm -hmm. you can set up, go deep three season camping in, a luxury fifth wheel is the way to go because the space, the style, and the comfort, it, I mean, you really can't beat it. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Speaking of space and size. Oh, yeah. Let's go take a look at the outside. Let's check it out. Right on. So here we are on the outside of the all-new 22 Heartland Bighorn 3950LL, 43 feet, 10 inches, with a dry weight of roughly 14,000 pounds. Yes, and sir. Big Dog, they did a really good job. Love the graphics, the molded edge, the backlit round. That, yeah. That's me. Nice cool. little touch, you know? It is a nice little touch. And the tri-access storage. Yeah, they, they did a really good job up front, um, especially on a front living. And like I said, we'll see the all of your storage uh, space yeah. when you go to the back. But I love that kind of everything you need is right here. You know, you have your hydraulic fluid, you have battery disconnects, pure sine wave inverter. So that way, uh, you, any, anything you invert, right. it'll be a nice smooth wave. So you're not gonna bust electronics that are sensitive, like laptops, things yeah, like cell that. Phones, yep. yep, battery right down underneath. Um, cord reel, this is really nice. Chris, I don't know if you've ever wrestled with a 50 amp cord when it's cold, Yep. but man, it's a fight. And so with this, it makes it so much easier. <laughs> you have to just reel it Dintana. right back in. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and, and they got the gen box down Yes, there. sir. That's cool. right. Gen prep right down underneath. So if you do want generator, that's where you can slide her in at. I do like how they dropped everything down to give you not only the access. And granted, we don't have a whole lot of storage up front. Sure. Um, you got a little bit around the side Yeah, there. you got a little bit on the side. But it, you do have three ways of getting to it. And yes. of course, over here is your electronic hydraulic Auto leveling. level. Auto level. Gotta love it. Yep. I mean, TV hookup. I could probably fit some chairs. Well, and that's it, right? Bags. Like, you know, so yes, it, it, things that you're going to access off and a little bit smaller. Yeah. This is a great spot for them. Uh, but when we go to the back, we'll see where the real storage on this one is. You'll also notice this. I do enjoy that. The uh, side camera prep. Oh, yeah. You know, so if you want side camera, boom, there it is. Got the little storage box for your tools. Leash mm -hmm. latch there with the little drop frame. Six point. Was that the level up? Is that the ground yeah. control 3.0? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the right level on. up, yeah, auto level system on there. So oh, wow. touch button, good to go. The awning, awning, the awning system is very unique. Yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> you they kind of put this one here just to go like over the door, which I like. Yeah. But you know, a lot of times on a front living, especially something like this, you have a lot of slides on your campsite, and most of the time you lose that camp space. So what they did is they gave you a ton of awnings here, wow. so that way you still have great usable camp space all the way down. It, it does look kind of weird because you get small, small, and then massive. <laughs> Um, but I, I see the function. Yeah. I absolutely see the function. So why don't we come right down here underneath the massive one. Beautiful frameless, frameless windows. windows mm -hmm. yep. Oh, there we go. There's that CRE 3000 suspension. You like that? Oh, yeah. yeah the more ride. 7,000 axles on that beauty, too. Woo! Yes, sir. It gives you oh. three inches of travel on there. Excellent suspension system. But this, Chris, is where it's at. I mean, now you're talking. You want to talk about storage on a fifth wheel. Boom. There it is. You got one two, three separate compartments back here, all wow. absolutely massive, just a ton of wonderful storage, which as I said, a lot of times on a front living you lose, not at all the case here. Yeah, plus you got the ladder up top, the backup camera prep. Yep. I mean, this is just for what they wanted to do, getting form and function with luxury, without the luxury price tag. I think Heartland nailed it with the all new Bighorn 3950 FL. 43 feet, 10 inches, roughly 14,200 pounds dry, and big dog, we got another one still coming. That's it. I'm ready.